Hey, welcome, Tim. This episode's all about, we've got an anniversary coming up. July 5th, 2020 um, will be our two-year anniversary. So this episode's all about recapping the first two years of our podcast. Yes, stay tuned. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Uh, today, Joel, uh, what, what, what's on slate for today? Yeah, Tim, it's... Uh... We started looking at the calendar and how many videos we had, and we both, I think, recognized two years ago in early July, July 5th to be exact, we uh, we started this journey. So today is all about just kind of reflecting back on that, uh, where, we, where we've been, where we've come from, and, you know, where we hope to be uh, two more years from now. Yeah, awesome. So before we get into that, what, what have you been working on? Yeah, just quickly, you know, it's hot. Uh, in the Midwest and uh, where we've been like 100 degrees hot, right? It's super hot everywhere in, the, in North America. But uh, for us, my wife and I have been hitting, uh, hitting the lake a lot um, the last week, couple weeks. So we've been doing some fishing, uh, mowing. You just can't keep up with the grass both at our properties and then uh, at the cabin here. Um, so that's, that's generally what we've been doing, getting up super early, like 4.30 in the morning, getting our work done. Um, in the morning and then uh, just chilling out in the air conditioning the rest of the day. It's brutal. It has been brutal. Brutal. How about you? Uh, so I've got three things that I've been uh, working on. So sunflowers, getting ready for dove season, uh, been paint. So I've got my electric fence on that, uh, more to come on that. Also been uh, spraying, doing a fair amount of spraying on our food plots just to make sure that they have a good chance for success. And then, uh, gosh, lastly... I've uh, been working on my, so putting up my cameras and starting to get the kinks out. Uh, as we know, I, I bought some cuttybacks, and so I'm working through those and making sure that they're going to function the way I want. Yeah, so again, let me uh, let me kind of wrap mm-hmm. that up for you here. You, you, you've already talked about sunflower seeds on one of our previous episodes, I think the last episode actually, uh, but more to come on that. We're, we're planning on putting two or three more episodes out there and starting a playlist on Dub plots, right? Yep. And then um, uh, the other thing that you mentioned was, what was the last thing that you mentioned? Cutty back. Cutty back. So that's another follow up from one of our previous episodes. So you're, is it fair to say you're in kind of data gathering and, uh, but you feel pretty good about where you're at with that now? I do. So uh, yeah, so at least a couple more episodes uh, coming out of the, uh, those topics. Yep. It's Fun good. times. It's good. Good, good. Yep. Uh, so, so with that, that moves us into two years. Uh, God, I, th- I mean, it doesn't seem that long, but I mean, we're sitting at ninety-five episodes right now, and uh, one more week we're at we're at that three years. So, um, I'm gonna just kind of, if you're okay with this, let me th- run off some statistics. And I didn't really realize all this until I went into it today, preparing yeah. for our videos. So. Absolutely. So, total, we've had about 1,340 hours of viewing. Um, We've had 14,324 views, 75,000 plus impressions. Um, I'm going to more on that in a second. We're at 168 subscribers. Uh, We had our first 3,000 view episode. And uh, for those who are wondering which one that is, uh, we did an unboxing of our new Kubo- of the, my new Kubota MX six thousand, and uh, it shows no sign of letting up. Yeah, we'll put that at the end of this if if folks want to get into that uh, equipment playlist and the couple Kubotas um, are in that. So wait till the end of the podcast here, and you'll be able to click on that and uh, get right into the Kubotas for sure. And we have two. 1,000 view episodes. One, I believe, will make it to 2,000 for sure. Uh, we've got two more emerging episodes that are at 500 plus, and the trends are going straight up. And then we have, on top of all of that, we have nine 200 plus view episodes. So, really pretty good. 
Uh, but I think what really tells the tale um, on how we've performed in this last year, and remember I was on special assignment, so you were covering for me for a good half the year, uh, three quarters of the year probably. Uh, in the last 365 days, that's where we 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 received seventy two percent of our views. So we've really ramped it up in the last. Um, I I mean, is that safe to say that we've one we've tried to be consistent in our releases of videos mm -hmm. in the last three hundred sixty five days, and our audience, uh, you know, thank you because you, you know, we're we're getting a bigger audience, and um, I think people are getting used to that drumbeat of releases of videos and the topics and things like that so yep good and i think we're ramping up our we're ramping up our instagram right uh we're still trying to uh we don't always have audio episodes that are that would be congruent with that because some of them are just they're meant to be video video episodes but uh we're still working on that uh 65 percent of our hours viewed happened in the last year. So, I mean, again, good trajectory. If we were to say how, what percent improvement, I mean, we're talking thousand plus percent. So really some really great stuff. Uh, we had on our audio, we're at 1800 plus listens. We've got 300 followers on Facebook, on our uh, site on Facebook. Really? Yep. Wow, cool. Yep. So, so some good things. I'm looking forward to the next 12 months and seeing where things go. Yeah. I mean, it's when I said journey, when we started off the episode, I really mean that because we have learned, we, I have learned so much going through this. It's been a great time. It's been everything I expected and more. And we're at a, a spot where I honestly didn't think we would ever be able to get as far as viewership and all the numbers that you tossed out there. But, you know, I think the people that need the most recognition are the people that are watching these episodes because not only watching it, but we've gotten some invaluable feedback either directly through our comments, through our email, through our Instagram. Um, and then sometimes personally, you know, people bump into us and just give us some feedback. Hey, what about this? Or what about that? I think it'd be better if you do that. And we've really taken a lot of those to heart. We always listen to them, but we've taken a lot of those to heart and made some changes, which I think have really made a, a, a positive impact. You know, adding to that, and we really have gotten a lot more email and comments on our on our episodes. So all of those are value added, and like you said, make us better. And uh, if we, I mean, our goal is really to service our listeners and viewers. So, uh, yeah, and the other thing is, is we've we've grown from you know we we really. I think started off with this being how much, how long a material can we put out there? And we realized people, people don't have time to watch an hour <laughs> session or even a half hour session. So we've cognizantly tried to uh, minimize these and, and really put a lot of quality into a short period of time. And uh, so with that said, <laughs> with that said, let's keep on that approach. And uh, so Tim, what are your thoughts around, uh, you know, recap in the last um, year? What are, what are some of your top episodes that we've done in the last couple of years since we've started this? So I have a lot of favorite episodes, but I have two that probably stick out in my mind. Uh, one is the stinky hunting, hunting excuse me, stinky hunting. And uh, we did an episode where we pulled together all of our, all of our products that we've bought uh, as far as how to camouflage our scent or how to, uh, as far as deer lures, etc., And that was a great episode. And it was nice to see hey, maybe how we both, how we both use that. And I think, I mean, I really haven't changed my approach in the last two years since that episode. So yeah, a couple things on that one. It was super fun with the hands on, we had all the product here and we were able to touch it and pick it up and whatever. And so that was really good. Again, a lot of overlap between you and I, how we approach scent control. Um, and then, you know, out of, out of that, at the time we didn't know it, but out of that, um, you know, we, we gained nose jammer as a sponsor for, uh, the first year of our uh, podcast. So that all those things were super exciting. It was a fun one. It was, uh, then lastly, probably one of the, my other favorites that came up, was the meatball 
you know, and I think uh, love the product. So if you haven't tried it, you certainly got to try that recipe. It's on our episodes. But uh, I enjoyed the fact that, hey, our, our wives were both uh, involved and the work that they did. And it was just a great episode. I really appreciate it. And you and I probably had a little bit too much to drink that night, but it was a fun episode. I don't think it was just us. I think the wives were having fun too, but uh, it just didn't show. They're, they were able to handle it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, that was really fun. How about you know, yourself? What are your favorite episodes? Yeah, my favorite ones, um, you know, the pea dog, the prairie dog hunting one um, was a good one. I reflect back on one. It was a great trip, but it was fun getting some of that down on uh, on video. And I hope we get another chance to go out and kind of duplicate that and improve from that original one. So that, that one really stuck out to me. And then the other one, uh, which we've done fairly recently, was uh, the Raven Crossbows. Um, I think it's the R10, right? Both yep. of us shoot R10s now. So it was fun. It was fun uh, shooting that. It was good. We got some great feedback and some great comments on that. So I know that hit. I know that hit um, our audience's uh, target as far as what they wanted to see him on crossbows. So both those were really fun to me. Yeah, and I'm not going to be hunting. I think one of the comments is, is they don't hunt with uh, the quiver, and uh, you know that's probably one of my biggest cons. So. I'm probably just going to remove the quiver when I'm when I'm hunting with it. So, good feedback. Yeah, good feedback. So, if we were to say, hey, there was two episodes that stick out in your mind where you yourself, as part of the episode, learned a lot. What what would be a couple of those episodes? You know, this go takes us way back. I think uh, this was episode eight or nine um, over a year and a half ago. Uh, but Rachel Rudin, the Iowa state of iowa dnr veterinarian she had just gotten hired if you remember yep. back then um we said that we're able to sit down with her and talk about ehd and cwd specifically cwd and man i learned i learned more than i could absorb in that uh you know that session so learned a ton from her that was a great episode it was really really good actually um, i think there's two episodes with that i think they may yeah we might even gone three i can't remember but there was a lot there and uh we were able to follow up with uh, her and tyler harms and actually did another episode um about a year ago around getting getting the organs needed the glands needed to send in for testing so yeah, sampling Really continues to grow, and uh, man, I just learned a ton, a ton about that on a on a hot subject. If you're a whitetail hunter, for sure. And then the other one was uh, Kevin Anderson on CP25. Kevin's just got a great personality, a lot of energy, tons of knowledge, and uh, I just like being around that cat. He uh, he makes me laugh, and uh, his approach to conservation and land practices, uh, I just really like his approach. So yeah, it's fun. We really couldn't. I mean, if if you're with Kevin, you could sit there and talk with him all day. I mean, it was a challenge just to just to try to get those wrapped up into episodes. Because I mean, your topic. I mean, those sessions you could go so many different directions. Yeah, I mean, we would literally get a half a day from him, right? And he would just use it all up um, and maybe get several episodes out of it. It was it was fun. How about you, Timbo? Uh, so my again, there's so many of them. I. I mean, we could talk state forestry. I mean, there's just tons. Uh, Matt O'Connor with Pheasants Forever. Uh, very similar to Kevin with uh, the vast amount of knowledge. And I just thought those were great episodes that we had. And I learned a lot about conservation, habitat improvement. Uh, so the Pheasants Forever. And then lastly, our trail camera series. So we've been doing trail camera uh, Super Bowl challenges and trying to assess uh, how effective they are and what are the what are the characteristics that really matter most to us versus what they advertise to us and gosh we've learned a ton about cameras the last two years and like I said going back to the cutty back I've kind of set my path but uh, those are two great two great topics yeah yeah, there's some good stories and some good laughs in there too. And then we found out that the latches on those Primos uh, <laughs> autopilots just don't work uh, work very well. And by the way, I sent that in, and uh, they sent me back a 
pushing out the camera. So that, that camera's no... I wish they wouldn't. I really like that Kind of confirms but, our thoughts, though, right? Damn it. Yeah, it does. It does. But, a two-year uh, warranty on them, right? Two-year warranty. Yeah, it was all free. And that, so... I got a new camera to test in this year's Super Bowl. It's going to be that Bushnell that replaced the autopilot, which was in the top two, if I remember right. Yep, so yep. it's got some uh, stiff competition to hold up to. For anyway, sure. I digress. No, no, no. So so with that, I mean, uh, what else are we missing here from the, this year? I mean, is there anything else? You know, I think that, I mean, we could talk forever about it. But again, just um, in, in the theme of trying to be quality and precise in in our episodes i mean i think that's a pretty good wrap up i I would just like to again thank our audience for uh watching us and going on this journey with us um we've really tried to up our game on instagram so if you're you're not on an instagram account get get signed up uh and follow us on that we're we're actually sending out pre clips on all our episodes on that so you can get a little check and and trying to keep folks up to date what we're what we're doing and uh, it's good to hear that people are following us on Facebook. So we're, you know, we're trying to get our act together. And I appreciate folks um, coming along with the journey and hit that like button and that subscribe button. And that helps us a lot. A lot. Uh, a couple more things that, that we've got in the works for the next years. Uh, we've got a couple new logos that we're working on refreshing. And we're also working on a solution uh, for where you'll be able to get uh, Midwest Hunting Outdoor, two dumbass um clothing merchandise cups, merchandise thank yeah. you that's the word i was struggling with so uh stay tuned in the next uh next couple episodes because we'll probably have a solution for you um but i guess unless you have anything else i i'm good again i just cannot thank our audience enough i pr- appreciate it and uh congratulations on two years two man. years without you haven't killed me yet so nope. that's good no or you me <laughs> so until next time Be Be safe, safe, have fun, fun, and get get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be Be safe, safe, have have fun, fun, and and get get outdoors. outdoors.